Hi everyone, it's Master Chief Chef here. Thank you for uh, coming to the video. Um, today I'm going to be giving a rundown of the weapons that I currently use in Destiny. Um, I'm only light level 328, I'm not 335 yet, so the guns might change over time. And if they do, please let me know if you want to see what they're like and get, get a good um, description of what they use. So here we go. As a scout rifle user, I absolutely love. I, I only use scout rifles in my primary on my hunter. My other characters I use other other guns, but on this character I only use scout rifles and it's wonderful. Here I have the Leith Noblesse. It's the Queen's scout rifle. Pretty pretty high rate of fire. Pretty high impact. So it's 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 the mid tier. It's not the slow uh, fire rate, really high impact. And it's not not like the made and multi tool here, as you can see. It's not as fast firing. It's got more impact. So I really enjoy this because it's like the Fang of Ear Ute from the Crota Raid. It's from Year One. It's really really good to use. I um, love the uh, stability on it. So um, here we can inspect the perks. I have the Reflex and the OEG scopes. I've only started using the Reflex recently, so I don't really know if it's that good. It looks strange, it's hard to get used to, but um, I suppose once after a while I'll be fine with it because it's got the improved aim assist. Um, the OEG has improved handling, which I was using for quite a while, but I thought, you know, aim assist would help me get the headshots. We've got Eye of Storm here. It doesn't seem like that good a perk when you read the description, but whenever whenever your health gets to about half, you get this wee pop up in the bottom left of the corner, Eye of the Storm. You got more um, accuracy, so it's pretty good, especially in PvE. I don't know if it's very good in PvP, because you're busy trying to hide and not die whenever you get about half health. So, um... For PvE, you get ganged by, you know, dregs or something. It's pretty handy. You're probably not going to die, so you got a bit of more accuracy to get those headshots, clear them out of the way. So I have in the middle tree here. I have perfect balance, hand laid stock, and rifle barrel. I went for hand laid stock because I don't mind that it lowers the range slightly. Because you know, for PvP, you're not there's not nothing ridiculously far away. If you're going to go far away, you're probably going to use a sniper rifle. So I don't mind that. It's gotten rid of some of the range for it's only really for PVE the range is important and just don't sit too far away. And the last perk I have is Hidden Hand here. Weapon grain gains better target acquisition. Absolutely lovely perk. You don't specifically notice it happening, but you do notice you land headshots a bit more consistently. So it's one of the best perks on any weapon. I would totally advise it for scout rifles and sniper rifles and hand cannons. The Leith Noblesse, um, it does 61 damage per headshot and 41 damage per body shot in the Crucible. So you, you need uh, 3 headshots with the, on a Hunter and it would kill them, but a uh, higher armoured Warlock or Titan, it will take 4, so they'll, just, they'll have just a slither of health left. So um, you need uh, 3 headshots and a body shot or a couple extra body shots. Oh, I forgot to switch on my... Fusion Rifle. So for my Fusion Rifle, I have the Vacancy um, from the Future War Cult Vendor. Um, stock one, didn't get a drop. It's got the per uh, Perks, Hot Swap and Range Finder. So I'm using um, the Torch Scope because it gives Improve to Target Acquisition. I'm pretty sure Aim Assist is one of the nicest things you want in a Fusion Rifle. Maybe not a Sniper Rifle, it depends on how you play. Um, but Fusion Rifle is really good for Target Acquisition. Hot Swap. Um, I, I noticed this popping up in the bottom left hand corner, bonus accuracy. Um, I'm pretty sure accuracy for fusion rifles keeps the cone, the spread of the bullets, slightly tighter. So it doesn't um, spread out as much, so it's easier to get a, um, a kill with it. You know, you don't have three bullets flying off into the sky. So bonus accuracy is pretty handy whenever you, if someone rushes you and you switch to your fusion rifle and blast them away. It's the re it's the low charge rate, high impact scout rifle. It's the one of the lowest um, charge rate and highest impact scout rifles, except for the Hitchhiker. Um, I was using the Hitchhiker, I didn't particularly like it as much because it just didn't feel as easy to use. I don't know what was different, it just didn't feel as easy to use. Um, and in the middle tree here I have enhanced battery, so increased magazine size or braced frame. So for a fusion rifle you really want stability. Um, it stops at the vertical recoil so we can group more of the shots in the body of the, uh, the enemy guardian um, rangefinder here is really nice i only unlocked this a little like yesterday yesterday um, it's pretty good you, you know you scope in and it's slightly easier to see so you can hit from slightly further away especially with the hot swap increased accuracy the cone is slightly tighter so it is a bit easier 
hit guardians that are far away, you won't get the spread, and rangefinder makes it easier to scope on them. Here I have danger close. Danger close, I think, is kind of a silly perk, except for maybe on shotguns, because um, this way weapon gains increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are in close proximity. If two, in Destiny, if two enemies are in close proximity, you're probably going to die before you have a chance to reload, unless you're a fusion rifle or scar or sorry or shotgun warrior, so you're blinking in and out or rushing in and out real fast, getting confusing the enemy, getting a couple of kills. Um, so I find for a fusion rifle, it's not that useful, so I will, I'm definitely not going to use it. It does 49 damage per bolt, so you need on average 4 unless it's a warlock with a ram or a max armor titan when you need all five boats to hit but um, it's really really nice pretty easy to get um, kills with this i don't find myself missing boats that often unless people are moving sideways and then it's just a problem with how i'm tracking them so if someone runs straight at you you just blast into them and they disintegrate and um, there's some gameplay of me using the lethal noblesse and the vacancy um, in my previous video if you want to have a look at me Get a couple of kills with that. It doesn't seem too difficult to use if you want to have a check. Or if you want me to use it again to give a tutorial of how to use fusion rifles or skirt rifles, please just uh, hit me up with a comment. That would be excellent. Uh, my last weapon here is the Bane of the Taken machine gun. I only got this two days ago, so I'm not entirely sure how great it is. I've only used it once and uh, only once got was lucky enough to get heavy ammo. Um, but as you can see, the rate of fire and the impact are quite similar. It's not a high rate of fire, low impact, and it's not a low rate of fire, high impact. It's slightly lower rate of fire, higher impact than most, so it fires slower. So um, I have the smart drift control um, to give it a bit more stability. Um, hip fire, which is, I don't use it that much, but whenever someone runs around the corner and panics you, you know, you never, you never know whenever you're going to hip fire, so I suppose it's a handy, handy wee perk. Um, here in the middle tree, we've got quick draw, hand light stock, and armor piercing rounds. I went for hand light stock because for range you don't really need range on a machine gun that much you want to be kind of mid-range anyway and the stability went up really nicely there and with the lower rate of fire it fires pretty consistently it's a lot easier to get um, headshots and body shots on enemies you don't miss very much especially with the low magazine size it's really important to get those shots landing. Here I have crowd control um, web kills um, a kill with this weapon will give it 15% uh, bonus damage which is wonderful um, the machine gun does 73 to the head and 58 to the body so with an extra 15% that'll bump up another couple um, you can nearly nearly two shot guardians which is absolutely lovely um, it only gives it for three seconds so it's only good if you're getting rushed or you run into a crowded area but that bonus will help trust me especially on a body shot uh, you get yeah, three body shots and someone will die you, and then crowd control perks again, procs again get another three body shots, a couple headshots, so you can just ruin an entire enemy team. So, um, thank you very much for watching. If you want to know anything more about my weapons, or how I use them, or even an example of me using them in Crucible or PvP, please, or Crucible is PvP, I'm an idiot. Um, so please hit me up with a comment. If you like scar rifles or fusion rifles, let me know. What's your favorite um, primary weapon? If you have a weapon for me to test out, you know, a vendor weapon, let, let me know and I'll go and grab it and see what it's like and give you a kind of a rundown of it. So um, thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing day.